Hello, everybody. Welcome to Delicious Life. Have I got one for you today. Listen. Okay, so if you don't know my story about having Graves' disease and then having my thyroid just treated horribly by medicine, medical technology, just go check out my first podcast. But for those of you who have, and please subscribe, don't be like a lot of the people who look at the videos and don't, don't, they, they don't subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel because I am going to be dropping some serious nuggets for health, relationships, love, life. It's delicious life, y'all. Listen. Okay. So I was so excited about getting my Nama juicer, Nama 2. It's, I, I still am, basically. I, I still think it's the best juicer in the world. And juicy and so i juiced so much stuff i mean there's so much bad out in the market now for juicing um i mean for our juices that you buy at the supermarket so they have these forever chemicals they have pesticides they have added sugars they have all these preservatives and crap all right so it's always best to juice your own and if you want green drinks, you know, and you're juicing kale, cucumber, lettuce, all that stuff, that's fine too. So that's what I was doing. So I was really enthusiastic about it because I was like, hey, I'm going to be making my own healthy juices. Well, they are healthy juices, but guess what? They weren't that healthy for me. So let me break this down. Oh, I hate to do this too because it's just for me. So listen, I am not a medical doctor. I am a certified nutritionist. So I do, you know, help people with certain things, but don't try to give you medical advice at all. See your doctor about that. But I am telling you right now just about my experience. So I deal with like I told you, hypothyroidism. And I was hoping to juice, fast with it sometimes, just drinking those juices. I, and I did um, a full day fast and then maybe half a day, but it was horrible. Oh my gosh. So I realized juicing for me did not work. And I was crushed because I was so excited about it. So I gained weight. Even with the fast, I gained weight. And I started having like really, really bad blurriness in my vision. Okay. And eyes watering and stuff. So I stopped wearing a certain eye makeup because I wear all non-toxic, you know, eye stuff but it was it was pretty bad and then i had these kind of like random pains my energy was low and this is not just from juicing this is when i was uh i mean not fasting this is when i was juicing but also eating food too you know because i eat very clean i, tr I don't eat any processed stuff so let me tell you I was so shocked. I was so hurt <laughs> because most people will tell you, even the instructors in my certification class and everything, plants, it's the way to go. All right. Plant-based diet, you know, veganism, vegetarianism, it's the way to go. I'm going to tell you something. I have always known and believed, and this has shown me even more so that you have to find your own way when it comes to whatever diet is better for you. Period.com. Because we have to unlearn so much that we have learned. 
people will tell you, I mean, doctors will tell you, nutritionists will tell you, um, uh, yoga people. <laughs> and I say that because I'm talking about um, people who are holistic practitioners and things. They will tell you that plant-based is the way for everybody to go. We're not meant to eat animals. We're not meant to have animal products or animal protein. Well, listen, that is not true for everyone. Now, I will admit, maybe having a, uh, a veggie uh, smoothie or something sometimes, it's okay. If that works for you. But for me, for me, I got back on track and I'm still working my way back on track because metabolically, my body still has to heal. Okay. So metabolic, metabolically, I, I believe deal with the insulin resistance or was and glucose. I don't want to say glucose intolerance. It's basically my my I would have glucose spikes whenever I ingested too much as far as carbohydrates or sugar or sweets or anything. And I really have been doing so well at cutting all that stuff out. So I'm pretty good on that. I know that it's not because of eating sweets. I love sweets. Don't get me wrong. And I'm working my way to being able to add them back into my diet once my body heals metabolically. Okay. But for a long time, I've, I've been struggling with healing metabolically, meaning training and teaching my body how to use insulin and glucose. And when I was pregnant with my daughter, I had gestational diabetes. And when I was pregnant with my son, who was the oldest, I was like that close, maybe, I don't know, maybe one or two digits away uh, from gestational diabetes. And so it, this taught me that after, and both times, like after I had my baby, it just went away. Okay. But it just taught me that I have to really be careful with sugar and carbohydrates. And when you juice veggies and root vegetables and uh, even green vegetables, you really take away all the fiber, which leaves your body open to just using all of that as sugar. And it stores it as sugar. And it's pretty much basically um, making your body create too much insulin, trying to push that sugar into your, your muscles and cells. And it just overcreates it and makes you insulin resistant. So I am training my body to be insulin sensitive. Okay. Meaning, you know, the, it's going to, the insulin is going to be enough to sustain, you know, my cell growth and, and my revitalization. Trust me. There are so many technical terms and stuff that you don't want. You wouldn't understand. I'm trying not to use that. I want to be clear. Okay. People, who have glucose spikes, like let's say you get up first thing in the morning or even after fasting intermittently, you put something in your diet, I mean, into your body because you're like, okay, I'm going to tell my eating window. I can eat now. If the first thing you put into your body is not protein and it's sugar or something that turns into sugar in your body, then you're going to have a glucose spike. And that could affect the way you eat are and eat the rest of the time period that you're eating because it makes you stay hungry. It won't satiate you. And so it takes a lot of discipline to fight past all those hunger pains that you probably fight when you don't eat enough protein. So people who have trained their bodies uh, and, and just really are good at metabolizing that stuff, good for you. I mean, I interviewed Tangi Ambrose, one of my podcasts, and she is a raw vegan. She uh, eats raw foods, and oh God, her recipes look so good. It makes me want to eat raw. And I know if I ate that way, it couldn't be forever. <laughs> it couldn't be long-term at all, maybe one meal or so. Um, 
because it's just not good for me metabolically but for her oh my god she's like an ever ready bunny yeah, the energizer she's just all over the place just energy for days looks beautiful youthful skin youthful energy trust me it works for her would work for me works for her she even checked into the diet uh, that's supposed to be like eat for your blood type another thing that somebody has created and made up that sounds good but is not for everybody for her blood type she's supposed to be a carnivore eating like meat 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 like elk and deer and bison and all that stuff she doesn't eat that way and she's thriving eating raw raw vegan and I'm just like you have to do what's best for you so just because you are a vegan just because you are a vegetarian just because you eat keto or paleo just because you are a carnivore does not mean it is the best thing for everybody across the board we are all different we have different types of metabolics uh, functions going on some high some low uh, some damaged we have to eat the way that's best for us and guess what the only way you're gonna find out is by a law of trial and error process of elimination so when you eat things and you find that your body is not working well hey start by writing it down what you eat for a day and write what what symptoms you have like GERD or um, um, hives or any kind of digestive issues or constipation or diarrhea anything write it down and just do a process of elimination that's it you are the only one who can determine the way you're supposed to eat and if that means vegetarian because you are doing so well on it you're healthy you have plenty of energy your body weight is good it's you're not overweight you're not underweight you're just thriving good for you if you eat carnivore and you find that you are thriving on carnivore your blood work is perfect good for you don't vilify the way anyone else eats okay and as a nutritionist in my last couple of videos that's what I emphasized just because something's works for you does not mean it works for everyone else so this is what I wanted to tell you about yeah I love my juicer don't worry I'm not giving it away <laughs> because if you come to my home and you want a juice I will gladly make a juice for you but yeah I will be doing something different now and what seems to be working for me is more animal protein yes I have been a pescatarian for a long time um, but the juice without the fiber just doesn't work for me and even with the fiber um, yeah the carbs just didn't work for me I needed more fat and I need more protein um, I can do without carbs can't do without fat your body just doesn't do well without fat your brain and many functions in your body need fat it takes fat to absorb a lot of things for your cells to absorb a lot of things a lot of nutrients and vitamins too good fat good fat like avocado and um, grass-fed butter and ghee and things like that all right healthy fats um, yeah do what's good for you and like I said nobody can be you but you nobody can figure this stuff out but you all right so that was it I just wanted to update you on what's going on in my delicious life and trust me now that I know what I need to do Woo, it's purely delicious and I am thriving it thriving on it every day and I'm getting better every day so cheers to you here's to your delicious life subscribe and share tell a friend cuz I'll be back My life is delicious.
Nutritious, my joy is nutritious.